People are concerned about pesticide safety. They've heard stories about people getting cancers or other illnesses due to the pesticide exposure. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about the time in which people get exposed to those chemicals most often. That is gonna be during the mixing and loading portion of your pesticide application. One of the things we take a look at is that are you using your personal protective equipment? Many of the labels, or actually most of the labels, are going to tell you what personal protective equipment is required. If it's gonna be chemical resistant gloves, if it's gonna be goggles or a face mask, or maybe it's that you wear long sleeve shirts, or maybe in this particular case, a Tyvek suit when you're making um, certain applications within your pesticide program. So, mixing and loading. Why is it so dangerous? It's like most of us can understand the concept if we stick a hose into a spray tank that there's water that's gonna go into the tank. Where we see most of the problem is that if we take our chemical, we mix it, we measure it, and then all of a sudden we want to watch it go into a spray tank, and then we get splashed back into our eyes, onto our face, and we have very high concentrations of chemical to get onto our body. So you need to have your personal protective equipment on to protect yourself from um, those exposures. Also, in mixing and loading, we want to make sure that you're going to do things correctly. North Dakota, like many states, puts out a weed control guide. There's actually a formula on page 96 that will tell you which of the products goes in first. And so apples is the formula that we use. You agitate, then you put the, uh, the different uh, chemicals and adjuvants into the spray tank in a particular order. When we go out and we start spraying, we have to realize that even though a chemical might be a restricted use, which is going to be seen on the front of the label, right by the label name, these chemicals are going to be more dangerous because they're more persistent. However, that does not mean that general use pesticides um, don't come with, the, uh, with risk. And many of us have had the conversation about glyphosate. Is it dangerous or is it not dangerous? So what we are going to try to teach you here is that it is your responsibility. If you have received a, a pesticide license, you're basically saying that you are going to read and follow the label. Uh, many extension agents or people that have taught pesticide classes emphasize that the label is the law and it's something that you have to do as an individual producer or applicator is to read it. Um, again, I wish we would talk more with the general applicators as well because the big story is about glyphosate, which is not restricted use, but there is still some potential risk with it. And it's because people don't read the label. The chemical companies have spent millions of dollars to figure out how to keep the applicator safe during those chemical applications. And now it's your job to read and follow the label like good applicators would. Thank you.